Hello everyone, welcome to the video. I'm Satya Karki. I'm Microsoft Certified Trainer, Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist, and I have more than 10 years of experience in software development, especially using Microsoft Technologies. In this video, we will learn to install new template in Visual Studio with an example of status uh, blockchain smart contract template setup. I'm using Visual Studio 2022 for this purpose. However, installation is all much same for all the versions of the Visual Studio. So now let's move for the installation of the new template in the Visual Studio. Firstly, we will open the Visual Studio and then we will open the terminal in the Visual Studio. However, you can do the template setup uh, from the normal Windows command prompt as well. But today I will show you uh, to install the new template in a Visual Studio using the Visual Studio terminal. So let me go and open the Visual Studio. So from here, uh, after opening the Visual Studio, you can select the continue without code option. And then we can open the terminal from the view to the terminal. Here the developer PowerShell command terminal prompt is open. Let me enlarge it. So I have provided uh, one article regarding how to install and configure the status smart contract template in the Visual Studio. Uh, to install the any um, template in the Visual Studio, we have to run the command .NET new dash dash installed and the template name. So today we are going to install the status smart contract template. Uh, so we have to run the command .NET new dash dash install and status smart contract template dot the CLI. So we will run this command. So here in our Visual Studio terminal, we will run this command .NET new dash dash install status smart contract template CLI. So let's execute it. So you can see here the following template package will be installed. Seems like it is installed. You can see the success message. And once installed, we can check whether the template uh, is installed or not using the command .NET new dash dash list. This command lists the newly installed template in the Visual Studio. So let me run this .NET new dash dash list. We will run this command. So let's execute this. So here we can see the status smart contract template. This is installed in the Visual Studio. So up to now we have successfully installed the status smart contract template in the Visual Studio. Once the template is installed, now we can utilize this template to create the new projects. For this, uh, we have to restart the Visual Studio. Let's restart the Visual Studio. Let's close and the open. And now I will demonstrate how we can create the smart contract project in the Visual Studio and how we can utilize our CSAP and the DOSNET skill sets uh, to develop the smart contract project. So let's create a new project. And here we can search for the newly installed template. I will search status here. So we can see the status smart contract template. This is already available. So we can select this and we can do the next, up, click the next option. Oh, I can set this as a demo template. Okay, demo smart contract template. And we can select the path anywhere. Mm, I will select to my desktop, to the desktop, here. And demo smart contract template. I will select this and let's create the project. 
so it's creating a smart contract project so here is our uh, demo smart contract here is our is that a um, demo smart contract template and this is our my contract dot the cs so this is a default template of the status smart contract okay let me go back to the slide hence uh, uh, we have installed the smart contract template in the visual studio we learn to install the new template in the visual studio we set up the status uh, smart contract template in the visual studio now we are ready for the smart contract development using our csap and .NET skill sets and we can create the new project uh, using the newly installed template that also we learned in the in this video so thank you for watching this video uh, if you have any queries concerned please feel free to write in the comment section